Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and a huge welcome to anyone who is finding my channel for the first time. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you enjoy the show. So in the last episode, we had a tiny bit of flooding, which is really better, better than not flooding, I would say, in our drought-ridden district, which is coming. The drought is, drought is coming in 2.9 days. So we have to kind of get stuff together before then. Now, since our water wheels are turning, we have so much power that I want to turn off these engines. We're going to click P to pause them. And yep, that's enough. We have 720 and 720. Now, these guys are not connected yet, and that is completely my fault because I forgot that they don't touch this one. So the power shaft is connected here, but these guys aren't getting benefit of it because we haven't built the explosives factory yet. I want to get that on the road. So we're going to go ahead and start that. So let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and press, press play. And hopefully we can get some gears shuffled on in that direction. This one is also paused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one work. And uh, so we can get that all together. Now let's check what we have stored here. These are metal blocks. I think this one was going to be gears. So I'm going to go and say none here and just click for gears. Uh, so that we can get some of those gears stored. And I think that is pretty good. It also looks like we are still missing a warehouse for planks. So oh, let's connect this one before we leave the area. And I want to put that, maybe I'll put the plank warehouse like right over here. We have this beautiful little um, area that is not occupied currently and I think would just fit beautifully a small warehouse for planks. So let's put that there and that'll give us the option um let's see since the road is connected around the beavers are gonna have to just like deal with some inconvenience because i'm gonna remove that road so we can set it to the correct production and then uh we won't have to worry about it getting overfilled with stuff we don't want all right so this area is still slightly flooding uh we'll have to deal with that in just a second and let's see this area i was thinking about this and we do actually have some extra places that trees can be planted so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some in this area and if we need the the land we'll just clear it out later but I suspect that we are going to have so much need for trees and stuff that we are gonna need kind of every single tree so let's get those there and do we have access we, we do have access to that little shelf so we'll just plant some here as the forester can reach okay there's good two maple I don't think it dries all the way to the bottom, if I remember correctly. So we should get those planted and they will be able to be harvested as well. Okay. Uh, water wheels are happy. We have enough power almost. Well, almost. <laughs> I guess we'd still need to turn on one of our generators at least or one of our engines. So let's go ahead and just turn one on. Uh, it looks like we don't have enough workers. So I want to see if we can shift some people around let's see we can probably turn off one of the science shacks because that's basically our protection for kind of overages and underages of uh, these things let's see everything else seems to be okay looking good looking good do we need more farmers or is one okay i think one is probably okay we'll just see how that works now <clears throat> we've been having some kind of severe droughts and I think I want to create a water containment area up here. Uh, yes, more, more cheaty, tiny levee building, but this is the option the iron teeth have. I've seen a lot of comments about this. And if you look at the water situations, we do not have an irrigation tower. It does not exist for the iron teeth. It, it cannot even be unlocked. It's one of the sort of breed bonus buildings. Uh, that the folk tales have and the iron teeth don't so we don't actually have access to that all right we were going to plant a well a plant plant a reservoir yes we're gonna do that uh and that is this area a couple of people were really worried and said hey kos did you know that water leaks off the edge yeah i know and uh that is a really great cause to have a really nice wall over here so the one exception that people have mentioned is if you have a source, like we had in the folktales, we had a source right at the edge of a map. You can kind of build that up into a big pool. But our source is in the center of the map and this is what we've got. So we're just gonna kind of go with that and, and leave it that way. Now, I have been thinking about this area here. We're not really using this area at all for anything power or anything. I think it's probably better if we build 
uh, le not levees, but dams here. What we have right now is a double floodgate uh, construction or situation, if you prefer, and it's okay, but the floodgates go to a height uh, increments of um, 0.5 or half a block. If you put a dam down, those are actually something closer to like 0.7 or 0.75. So they actually hold more water. And I think that if we put just dams across the top of this, remove the levees, remove the floodgates, I think it's gonna work better. So in the middle of the dry season, that's kind of what I wanna do there. Okay, so let's get on to our next project here, which is starting a brand new district in this crazy area. Um, if you haven't seen this uh, project before, we've already started building the dam and the idea is to flood everything kind of on this level up to that height, um, maybe higher as we get to it, but we'll see. I'm going to start at that height and kind of just use the natural landscape to provide most of the walls on the side here and then just kind of connect it around. This is a massive, massive undertaking. Lots of wood required and all the things. We're gonna have to really watch our wood consumption because we only have these two forests right now and that's not really that ideal. Oh, we need to build this as well. Okay, let's, oh, it's on up on uh, double high, so that should be fine. This one also will get stuff, but yeah, it'll work uh, later in the morning. Uh, so anyway, we probably need to watch the wood consumption because the wood to run these guys, it's a lot of wood and uh, we need to make sure that the generators are fed, the engines are fed so that we keep getting planks and stuff because my thought is to build kind of a miniature city in the middle of this place uh, and that's going to be a lot of platforms. But to begin with, we don't actually have much of an option there. So what I want to do is um, I kind of want to go. Actually, what we can do is something extremely sneaky. We're going to do this, I think, maybe, maybe. Um, and then put dam walls here as well. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that because I'm going to remove these two water wheels and uh, just get rid of them. So we want to start off with that. Firstly, I would like to make some kind of crossing over here. Let's see if we if we move these water wheels, I'm planning to move this one to over here instead. So if we go across, that's kind of a natural crossing point. I like this idea. Okay, that should be fine. Let's just check the depth on these things because they are kind of a bit at different heights. So here we're going to do triple platforms on the bottom. Now they can reach down, so that's fine. So this is going to work and we don't need to have stairs going all the way down if we don't want to. Sometimes we might want to for more realism. Um, but anyway, that's where we are going. Now we are not going to be able to see how far I think until we actually build this, but we can build kind of a temporary builder's hut over here and that will help us with stuff and things. So let's build that builder's hut as well and just maybe transfer builders down because this is a bit of a circuitous route around and we just want to have the max amount possible so that we can build everything that we want to. All right, so let's look at our labor thing and it is builder's hut, there we go, and that goes there. Okay, so let's let our builders go on and do their thing. I'm going to start building this levee here. Uh, and we're going to kind of, yeah, get that working at some point. But yeah, there we go. How tall does this need to be? That tall, I believe that looks correct. Yes. Good, good. All right. And we're going to have a path, but there is another problem that we have. When we have floodgates, we have to have a path around them because they can't actually walk through floodgates because they have like, if I, if I show you them, they have this kind of like little hat on top like this. You can see the little hat and there's like no way they can get through this. They can't like squeeze through the supporting structures and around the cabling. No, no, no. This is a safety hazard for our beavers. And we can't possibly subject them to that. So no, uh, we have to kind of build platforms around. So I want to design those right now. Let's go ahead and start with this and just kind of build a standard base. Okay. And then build up another layer. And then this is, looks like a two height. There we go. 
And that way we can build our road right there. Okay, very cool. So this is our structure that is for pathing. We have not built the dam because of these water wheels in the way. All right, so let's let our beavers build some of this stuff and kind of figure out what we can do in this area. Now we have to remember that most of this is gonna be flooded. Uh, but we also still need uh, a city center here because this is like really at the edge of our building range. And even with a builder's hut, which is going to cut the pathing down, the, the, the city center has a very limited range. So we just need to keep that in mind. Oh, wow. This, these are completely over flooded. Everything is like, no, help. Too much. Too much stuff. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn one of these. I guess we can turn both of them to height one because it's just not enough space for the water to exit because it's just too much. I think we have how many water sources here? We have three, I think, three or, oh, or are there more? More? Yeah, we have more actually. We have at least five, maybe six. Oh, here's a better way to see it. No, that one is not this one. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have five water sources. So yeah, it's no, no. Uh, surprise that all of the water can't escape but you see when the flooding happens like it shuts everything down so it's kind of rough all right so this is happening and to give ourselves an idea of how high the platforms need to be for this sort of Atlantean city that we're building we need to measure and to do that I like to just take our platforms and kind of look so this is two because I have a three in my hand. We'll just do it with twos. It's easier to see one. So that's two, two. And if we start building here, it's an additional one. So at a minimum, our city is going to have to be on three and two. So something like this height. And that is going to be the baseline for our city to be above the water. That's pretty tall. And that's a lot of platforms for us to build. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that goes. Now, we have the drought happening right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, it probably won't matter here, but just turn our floodgates up to hold all the water they can and let none escape. So let's just turn this up. Okay. And cutting off all the egress there. This one probably doesn't matter at all. Um, but yeah, when the water level gets lower, I definitely want to change this to dams, I think. So when it gets below that top block, we'll just remove the entire course and set in some dams. All right, our beavers are working very hard on stuff. We can see them doing things. They're also building this upper platform thing as well. And this is probably a good opportunity to, let's see, we can now pause and kind of see where we're going, what we're doing, and how far our building zone extends. Now let's get a path here and just see how far can we build with our current builders. Okay, they can only go to that point. So what we need to do probably, I well, they do have a little bit of... of um, extra border as you can see like if they go straight left they can go this many tiles to the left that's like one two three four five six seven off the road to the left there so we can assume seven this way as well so what we can do is kind of build toward here uh, and put our city center in this area and have the deliveries come here if we want and i think that's probably a good idea let's go ahead and build a little bit more uh, of the road here and then see if we can get our um, buildings in place okay so let's start with this and they should I hope be able to build that maybe we'll see what happens but yeah it should be fine should it'll be fine absolutely fine and if they start, I'm guessing they'll start building. I just want to make sure they can actually get here because plopping the district center is really not a problem. That is not an issue at all. So we're gonna, just going to work on that. Oh, one thing is, oh, we did not build any water pumps here yet. And that's perfectly okay. okay I also want to get a lumberjack here. So let's turn that back on uh, because we have many trees here which can stand gathering. Now, I was going to put a water pump up here, but we don't actually need it in the dry season. Uh, we'll probably install... You know what? We can install it right now. But I don't want to set it working 
because it's going to drain all the water from all these growing trees. So that is not a good plan. Okay. Everything over here is going well. Should we? Now this area, you know what? We could, This probably could stand, if we put a road here, we could plant on this side. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually ugh, delete all these beautiful maples that were planted here. But it's fine. Nobody will notice. Just keep it secret. Uh, keep it really secret. And nobody will be able to tell. All right. Uh, let us add some platforms. Because platforms are generally the cheapest type of bridge that you can use. Wow, this is deep. This is really deep. But it's perfectly fine. And they are on the same level. So that's very nice. Um... While we're in the mood of deleting, I think we can also delete a couple of these and add some lumberjacks. So let me just do that as well. We'll add a couple of lumberjack posts over here and then they can harvest this entire area. So we're going to set our tree cutting zone also to be here. Okay, it's okay if we're a tiny bit messy, it doesn't really matter, but we also wanna get all of these, these dead trees if there are any, it's hard to kind of see in the dark see them a bit but yeah they're yeah kind of shadowy all right let's get to some light let's go uh and then here i think i don't know if i really need a road out here but i'll just go ahead and add some maple planting so that we can just start that process um it looks like they're not quite done over here but it'll just give them something to do later okay let's see is stuff getting built all right we do have one thing built which is great i'm gonna go ahead and prioritize this stuff uh, to be built first. Let's check on this. Is, oh yeah, we're not going to put a road so it won't function, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. Now then, since it is dry season, we have lost our electricity free from the water pumps. What we're going to do is unpause these buildings and just make sure that we have a little bit of uh, working. Okay, we need another worker. I think we turn off these guys because I don't think we are going to have enough uh, power Let's see, are we getting beavers? No, we're not getting beavers. Okay, we need to probably pause a couple of... Oh, you know what we did? Is we have more people in the builder's hut. So let's pause this builder's hut. And then anybody extra can go here. And also power these engines. So let's see, we're going to have 600 of 700. That's probably enough to do what we want to do. So let's just leave it at that. Gears are still being made, which is important. This finished, which is perfect. All right, looking good. Looking very good. And this will get built as it goes, but we are going to prioritize this fun stuff. Now I'm hoping that we can get there. So let's see, are they currently building this? Let's go builders go. Mm-hmm. Okay, they are getting materials. And it's going to be a tiny bit slow until they get it sorted. But yeah, it's so far things are working really well. Now while they're doing that, let's go ahead and just make this road out here. Maybe we'll just do a tiny road to get into this territory there. How many beavers do we have in this area? We have two unemployed. That's important for us, actually, um, because it means that we can uh, put them to work. <laughs> Being lumberjacks, for example, to get all of these dead trees out of here. That's going to be really great. Now, let's see. We do have this lumberjack flag. I'm going to turn it. Actually, I'm going to turn it completely off. Delete the building. There are no more trees and I'm not planning on planting here. Now, it looks like we do have plenty of food. The only thing we're lacking is bread. And the reason we're lacking bread is because we have no way of processing bread. We're not um, making wheat here either. We're kind of relying on the main city to send it. Now, do we have in our main city, do we have plenty of flour? No, we only have two flour. That situation I would really like to change, uh, actually. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Anyway, let's see. Our warehouse has been built. And this one was going to store planks, I believe. So we're going to put planks in here. And there we go. Okay. Let's connect that up. All right, good, good. Okay, and almost done with this. I'm really happy to see this. And we'll see how far the builder's abilities extend in this direction. All right, good. Oh, and you know what we can also do? We can also delete this water wheel. Let's delete this, delete this, and... Oopsies, not that. Wrong button. Help. 
I'm going to go ahead and delete this platform because we need to have levees underneath to actually store the water in. So let us just do that. The easiest way is just to get the delete tool there and it should delete all the way down. Yes. Okay. So now we might actually need to have sort of a stepped dam project, but we're going to just start off with having up to the top three blocks. Um, all right. So let's do that. Let's see. Levy. Yes. Levy is what we want. Okay. We have down way down there. Okay. Good, good, good. And up and here and this one. And then three tile triple floodgate at the top. There we go. Good. And we still have room in front of these water wheels. So I don't think I would like to move them. I think they're quite, quite okay where they are. Now this staircase, I might need to move because I want to put the water wheels right here. So let's just add some platforms for them to stand on. Now, a few people have had concerns that maybe the water wheels aren't getting enough um, speed, but the water wheels don't work that way. They don't need speed like the, um, uh, the, the windmills. They kind of have this, you know, intermittent flow or graduated flow. Water wheels, as long as the water is moving and it's enough to turn, they generate max speed, which is, I think, 180 horsepower. So we don't really need to worry about that at all. Okay, let us get our water thingies. Actually, do we want to maybe, you know what we can do? We can do three. No, maybe not three. Maybe we can do two and then have an, a, the wall over here. That is a possibility. Let's just think about that. Let's delete these pieces here. And that way we can actually extend our uh, dam all the way this way. And that might be kind of beneficial for us. Alternatively, we could actually have another water wheel here. We could see if it works um, with the flow. It might. It actually might work. And that's a lot more power in the summertime. Though, I mean, having said that, it usually isn't necessary because of uh, our struggles with the length of time that they are available. So anyway, but let's go ahead and put it in anyway, just for funsies. And we'll add that. Let's get another water wheel, which is under power. Okay, there. And then we'll add one. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to wait on that. But I do feel like a levee here is a good idea. Let's just delete these structures. Go here, delete those. Yes, and time for levees. There we go. Get the levees here and build it up on this side of things. Now this might present a tiny problem of communication of energy to this district. Do we want energy here? Maybe. We could always solve the problem later. <laughs> we can maybe go across the top here. Um, that's, that's another idea that we can actually do. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and build this thing this away. Add that there and then kind of make this our design for now. This reservoir, we really want this to take shape. And so far it's looking pretty wild, pretty wild. I kind of like, I'm like, no, we can't see the river now. It's sad. Um, but anyway, it'll be fine. Uh, and probably we'll have this wall extending kind of and like cutting off maybe here somewhere. Possibly, possibly. Because the other thing that we do want to have access to, and this is kind of important, like really important. We want to have a water pump here for our beavers to be able to actually at least pump a little bit for this colony for now. Now, of course, once we build the entire city, they're going to have, you know, beaucoup de room for, you know, uh, adding all those other things. But right now we probably need to have that there. All right. So they did finish. They did finish the bridge. Hooray. What we need to do is let's look at the building distance. Oh, wow. They can even go further than that. They're, they're, they're rock stars over here. This is fantastic. But this is, this is the, the, the limit. We have hit the limit. That's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and delete these trees. They are just saplings. Those little ones will not provide any wood. And these might provide wood, but I don't care. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I think it's worth... Del Actually, they won't delete those, will they? They'll only delete the first couple of rows. So let's just mark those as a priority, please. And get those deleted. Because I want to put the city center right around this area. Because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more efficient for us. 
And then we put in our district gate. So let's see. I want them. Are they going to do any more? Is that it? Hello? Ah, that's it. Okay, that is our limit. We have no more. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these. And maybe we can harvest a few with the lumberjack. We'll see. All right, time. For, so first of all, we need to make the district gate. I'm going to go ahead and make it right here. So let's delete this. Well, should we delete this? Ah, let's have them build this water pump first. <laughs> I want the water pump. Let's go have it. Come on, beavers. Go, go, go. Do the thing. Also, I want this to be... Actually, we can probably mark these as a priority. Slight priority on these guys. This one as a high priority. Good, good. So they do those first. Okay, so that's done. Now, let's delete this. I just did delete and enter to delete that quickly. And let's get our gate. Let's have our district gate right there. Okay, very good. Now then, um, yeah, it's time to build a new district. So let's get this the city center or district center placed. We're going to put it, I kind of want to smush things toward the wall here so that we have room to build our city kind of in the center. Um, we're going to be moving this around and moving is not the worst thing. I usually just like pause, delete, then move. And then you have to send the beavers back because they'll all abandon you even if you pause. Um, but the only annoying part is you have to remake the distribution limits, which is kind of a pain, but it's, eh, it's not like horrible. So it's, it's just fine. All right. And I am unprepared because I wanted to make a second distribution center to fill this one. So let me see if I can find a place for it. Where, where are we putting it? Help. I think maybe. Maybe we just go and build a staircase up this way. Kind of. Maybe. If we had dynamite, we could explode some of this stuff. But yeah, the KOS did not build the dynamite yet. So we're kind of out of luck so far. But uh, let's see where we can build this distribution post. It could be up here. That could be kind of fun. It's a little bit extra walking for our beavers. So it's not really ideal. I think, ideally, we would want to have it maybe in this field. If we put the water dump here, which was what I was planning, and we need to finish that, by the way. Let's go ahead and just finish that real quick. Kind of forgot about it while we were doing stuff. Okay, road and dump. Where is the dump? Here it is. Boom. Okay, so that's finished. So this area is going to become a little bit more green. We can harvest a little bit of this crop area. And also, I kind of want to move these gears so they don't take up so much extra space here. We can also completely remove this walkway. Uh, but I'd rather set up the district first and then fiddle with that in a bit. So, what are we doing here? Let's, um, where do we want this new district post to be? The distribution post. It's quite a big building. Now, we could put it in the middle of the water. That is an option. But I think maybe we just put it up here. I think that's an okay solution for this. We'll just kind of chuck it up here. Yes. Okay, we'll just do that. And have a tiny little raised platform there. And stairs down. And road around. Road, 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 and road. Okay, good. So we're going to high prioritize this because we really want to get stuff moved to the other new district area okay so that's going to get done and we have this we can't do much there how is this water level looking oh not not there yet it's not past the first block but we still have 8.4 days left so no need to rush ourselves now then let us set up these new uh district distribution limits. Gosh, that's a mouthful to say. We're going to say, let's see, probably berries. Let's do 30 berries, zero books. I Well, we can fix these later. All right. 30 this, 30 that. Explosives. Hmm. Huh. Let's do 20. No, 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 no. Not, not that many. Help. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do 20. There we go. Flower, zero. Gears, none. Potatoes, 30 logs 50 
50. No, maybe more like 70. I think until we get some kind of tree creation here, I don't think we're gonna, yeah, we need, we need lots of logs. All right, paper, zero planks. We're gonna go with mm, 40 because we're gonna build a lot of plat. Actually, no, 30 is enough. They can make deliveries. It's not that many, it's not that far away. Oopsies, no, 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 no. Alp, okay, potatoes, scrap metal, zero. Water, definitely need water just to maintain and make sure that we have enough stuff. And wheat zero. Now we probably are going to have a breeding pod here. So that's going to be important to just add from the very beginning. In fact, I might just do that. Let's add a breeding pod, which is under housing. There we go. So rotate and add a couple of these maybe. There we go. Okay. Beavers ready to go. Let's do it. Let's move stuff. So we're waiting for this to get built because I want this one to serve this area. Now, alternatively, once we, wow, these are not done yet. Hello? Hello? Okay, we have this person. Do we not have enough builders? We have one worker there. We have three unemployed. So let's get another person on building uh, so they can delete these trees, I'm hoping. What else are they doing? Wondering why these are not getting... There they go. They're not getting chewed down. Help. Let's put our road here. Connect that up. Good, good. All right. So let's get lumberjacks working here. Now we can probably remove one or two builders. And that is mostly because they... We don't build a lot over here. To be perfectly honest, we just don't. So let's remove two builders because right now we actually have no building cubed anything. Now we might want to build another industrial log pile. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll see if we need that in a bit. Now here we have one pod that's still breeding, which is good. We have one unemployed beaver and that is a bit, eh, it's okay. We might move that person to the new district. Now, let's check on our buffs that these folks have. They have all the nutrition, which is great. They have no awe at all. That gives us working speed. That could be really beneficial for our crops and tree cutting and all that kind of stuff and tree planting, especially. Uh, they have no social life because they're beavers like gamers. <laughs> they, just, they just do their own thing and don't wanna be bothered. Now, fun might be okay, but that's a lot of investment comfort. That is, wait, why are these, well, hello? Do we not have, we don't have homes? Really? Yeah, we don't. Oh my gosh, that's rough. Thank goodness I checked. All right, so we do need another uh, set of homes. Now, where do we wanna build these homes? This is actually kind of a good question because the bonuses are gonna have to be stacked, but here we have this really nice green area that we might not want to put a bunch of houses here. We might just start putting them over here. Maybe we actually connect this road around like that and have kind of a walking path this way. This could be kind of cool, actually. I like this idea. So we'll take this and maybe kind of go on the edge of stuff like this. Maybe have some houses over here. I might even completely delete that one uh, barracks and put in just extras down here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do, you know what we could do? We could do a fun little like funny city. Okay, we got we got plenty of science points right now. We'll just do all the things, right? So this is a large barracks. It's basically a giant like QB thing, which is, yeah, interesting. But we can do row houses, like pretend that they're quite like citified peoples and do like these, I don't know, high rise kind of things. I like that idea. And put one there and one here. Like that. Oh, doesn't that look great? I like it. All right. Let me move the road to uh, better uh, frame our buildings. There we go. And we'll let them build this stuff and then we'll come back. Okay. Uh, this area, we can also add some trees while we're here. So for planting, hooray. Don't know how far this is going to go. Oh, it goes all the way. Nice. That's really great. Okay, cool. And there we go. Hooray. Just kind of trying to just get the bits with the green areas. And some of them are less evocative than others, shall we say. 
Uh, oh, this one won't get planted, I think, because it's on the higher level. Okay, that should be fine. And this way, we're going to have this colony also providing lumber. Okay, well, not, wait, yeah, lumber as in trees, tree logs and things. All right, did we get our distribution post close? We're getting there. We got two staircases built, and then we're going to have the platform and the other stairs, and then we should have this done and ready to go. How many builder, how many people we have there? Three delivering to over here. I think we're going to cut that down because I don't think they need much. I think they might need a little bit of water. And by the way, I think we should also build a proper water tank over here. Maybe in the wet season, we'll transfer some gears. Oh, or maybe we transfer them now and just kind of let them build up a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and change that limitation. I don't think we had gears on our list. So yeah, let's just do 20 gears. Okay, good. And we should build some form of decoration here, I think. Uh, let's build a let's build a shrub here because most beavers are going to see that. And we could do I would really like to do some roofs on on top of these homes. We might have to just build staircases up to do that, but it'll be fine. One by two roofs, um, and then of course we have the other ones as well, which don't really make sense in this context, but yeah, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. So, uh, we can put one tree here, there, okay, and then move explosive, or not explosives, the, uh, the thingy majingies. Gosh, my words are not here today. Let's go. I think it was this one that was having the building materials gears. It's only 20, so it doesn't really matter that much. In any case, how is this going? We need, we have eight gears, but for whatever reason, it's not being prioritized. Is this one getting them? No, I don't know. Something is happening here. This is just logs and planks. So they are, oh, wow, they're actually building this. Nice. All right. So... Let's add new roots. We want to add, let's have the food on the left, which is what I usually do. Let's do berries and then we'll do bread. Hooray. Add a new root. Can we do grilled potatoes? Can I press enter? Yes. Enter is amazing. I love hotkeys. They're so good. And water. Okay. So do we have, we have all the grilled stuff. We have that and we don't have carrots. So let's add carrots. Yay. All right. Now add new root over here, please. And we're going to get our logs, which are super important. And then we get the planks, which are also super important. Okay, so I think four should be enough for that, you know, that route. So we'll wait till stuff gets kind of put in here and get that going. Now, these guys can also be a bit prioritized here. This uh, water dump. I'm not sure why they're not building it. I think they're building this part of the dam and that's what they've been really fixated on. But let's see. Do we have enough logs? Let's just make sure. Let's click a building. We have 200, 200 logs. Okay, good, good. That seems reasonable. All right. And when we get food here, that is when we're going to transfer beavers over. So another thing that we can start off with is building a lumberjack flag out here. And right now, everything is temporary, like literally everything. So we're going to take this one off, I think. Yes. And road, please. And then we'll have a road out here for another lumberjack thingy. And remember that the lumberjacks can store 20 logs inside their, their post. So we don't actually have to build a log storage out here until we actually make a forest and have kind of like proper cutting. Okay, this can't reach there. And why not? I don't know. Help. What if we put a road here? Does that enable the forester to go here? Yeah, it does, kind of. So maybe we need a road into this fort. Or no, maybe not, because it can't reach beyond the road. So I guess that's all the all the leeway we get here. So delete, delete. Okay, good, good. Okay, looking pretty good. This one is not down enough yet, but this is this is making me happy. Look at this great area. We've chopped down all the trees here and we can now plant a little bit more, just fill in the gaps. 
and we have housing going up hooray look at this we have stuff so we have um let's see 15 right now in in homes and we're going to probably delete this place and maybe make some either production or something instead but right now it is working so nicely i hope they get this water dump finished because i would like for these crops to not dry out like they're currently drying out yeah not ideal that all right and do we have food we do all right we got food we got things and stuff Okay, so where do we transfer beavers from and how many do we need? We need at least four. Let's see, this area, they have three unemployed. So we're just going to move stuff from there. Now I'm going to just, I'm going to leave this called District 3 for now because we, uh, well, or should we name it? I don't know. We're going to have to move the city center many times or at least twice. So... We're going to have to, I don't know, we'll see. District 3, let's move three adults over there. Migrate. And then I think we're going to just move whoever we can from here. Let's migrate two, maybe. Because what ha typically happens, and this is really horrible, is that they move many times the oldest resident. And the problem with that is that they just die off and it's bad. It's like, no, help. So yeah, they die off and they don't even get the breeding pods started or anything like that. It's very frustrating. And uh, so we're going to have to try to build homes for them immediately. That's really important because the comfort attribute uh, gives them longevity in their life. So yeah, we're going to have to just build this quick, quick. We get, let's get the lumberjack post that will enable us to gather wood faster, logs faster. Uh, oh, yeah, whoops, we forgot to mark the tree cutting zone. Let's do that. Okay, good, good. Hooray. And here we go. There we are. All right, so that is the trees. And we can also build upward toward this mountain. Now, having said that, oh, no, they're maples. I was going to say, like, huh, is it actually worth it? Because all of these logs have to be processed into uh planks and stuff and like is it worth it but yeah this is a whole bunch of maple out here so we probably are going to see a net gain if we build upward this way so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that and it'll be fine okay one two three no wait let me just do that do that and make sure that's the right way <laughs> okay let's get this one which is two then one then stairs. There we go. Now, if someone wants to do the math and say, hey, KOS, you were wrong. There's not enough maples to justify it. Then feel, please feel free to do so. I would be highly amused by that post. <laughs> All right. The first lumberjack post. Now, lumberjack posts don't cost anything. So we're just going to put the first one here because we can't really do much moving around. And I want a straight as road as possible. So we're going to put that one up there and we're going to cut these trees here. Now what we can do is maybe we make a water dump in the middle of this and actually use this area as a forestry area. Uh, we can make a tiny little water dump in the middle of this and that might actually spread around. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how it works. But yeah, right now our beavers are having sad times because they don't have anywhere to sleep, but it's okay. It's okay. Little beavers we will just pat you gently. Yeah. Aren't they cute? Look at this. They're just like, Kind of moving oh oh they're fast they're fast it's morning time it's speed three let's go oh but this is so exciting i'm so excited our our, our dam is taking shape things are happening whoa and what do we do about this this is actually kind of funny so first of all i want to extend a shaft this way and what we're going to do is get another water wheel over here we're just going to build these in steps. So we're going to pause this one and that one so that this one can be reached. And we're going to extend our shaft this way as well. So let's get the delete tool here for crops. Uh -huh. Okay, delete these crops. And then, and I'm aware they will not be harvested. It's okay. We we have a tiny bit of food. We're, we're actually okay. We're not dying yet. So that's fine. And what do we do about this? I think what we do is we go straight across here. 
like this and then connect up there. Now, I think we can just destroy all of these constructions. We do not need them any longer. It's kind of fine. Oh, whoops. It's nice that it like deletes the layer you want to delete. Like you notice it's not deleting any of the gears underneath, which I think is kind of cool. That's a really smart delete tool and I wish like other things had that. So let's take out uh, these things. Okay. Yes. And what we're going to need though is we're going to need a path or not, not necessarily a path, but a bridge. Uh, to get to this stuff because this shaft is going to be blocking this. So what I think is let's go like maybe here. Let's do a delete there and there and put staircase, bridge, staircase. So we're kind of removing these bits of crops. Let's see how many squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven crops, but we gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Eh, probably not worth it, but it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We're going to go with that. That is going to be our, our reasoning here. And I think, let's see, what do we need most of? Anything? Probably bread, but we do have plenty of wheat, I think. So we can maybe just extend what we have here. Just put a little bit more in the way of potatoes. Let's just extend those this way and then we'll add the carrots on the bottom here and that will work really nicely. Okay, cool. That's that's going to work very nicely. Let's see. So this path is going to go down. They can reach this uh, water mine and that's great. Go ahead and extend the power shafts because we definitely want these things to be done by the time the uh, wet season hits, which is in, oh, it's in three days. Good goodness me. That's going to be a quick, quick thingy majingy, but it should be fine. All right. So these things are happening. Let's see. Did they get some of it done? They did. Okay. And it's great that they can cut down these, these trees here. Let's see. Are there more? Let's see. Can they reach over here? Yes, they can. Good. This thing has one log and that's about it. Yeah. We're going to have to start relying on either getting these trees up here or, yeah, basically trees from our base, our home base. Uh, let's see. We have, maybe we want more uh, workers here to transfer more logs. But until we get forestry up in that area, logs are going to be a bit slow in coming. Okay, so let's get these things moved. Let's put the power shaft there and there. And hopefully get these beavers to work on this stuff. So when prioritize to be high priority, definitely want this stuff done. Let's, let's also prioritize these crops getting removed because that's part of the problem here. Uh, we don't have anyone working at this water dump, and I think we definitely need that to happen. Let's see, what do we got in employment or stuff here? We have 74 uh, spaces and zero homeless. That's good. Good news. We might need another breeding pod, or maybe not. I don't know. I have seen such varied estimates on these breeding pods. It's been like, some people say, oh yeah, one breeding pod can supply 56 residents. And I'm like, huh, really? <laughs> really? But that might be at maximum bonuses, and we don't have the max right now yet. So that's something to think about for sure. Okay, and this one is we need to do our platform here and stairways. So I'll just wait for the beaver guys to get out of the way. Guys and gals, pardon me. There we go. Okay, and then road on. I'll just put a road on top in case. I don't think it's needed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Eh. All right, we take this one off. That one deletes. And then so they can access underneath. That's really important. Make sure that you can access underneath a little bridgey thing uh so they don't get stuck all right let's go ahead and prioritize the heck out of that okay very good very good all right beavers come on build your house so that you can start getting longevity bonuses i don't want you to die help <laughs> so we have so far yeah we still have five beavers which is the amount we sent which is great now then water we need to store water as well so i think let's build like three small water tanks here 
and we will prioritize one of those as higher than the others. This is should be max priority. Let's build the houses first. And oh, here we go. We got our thing. Hooray. All right, there we go. This is great. This is pretty great. Now, why is nobody working here? Did we? Hmm. Oh, we didn't move anybody. That's why. Do we have extra people here? No, we do not. Um, I also want to turn on the scavenger flag. Is it on? It is on. Okay, so might need more people there. Now, we do have 140 metal blocks. I'm kind of thinking that might be enough, but maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. See, we got this going. Okay, so the explosives factory is existing. I want to pause that because we don't have paper yet. We didn't build paper. But this one can take the rest of the new materials, all the gears and stuff. And this place, I think, should have gears now. Yes, maybe. Hello. We have 11. That's good. Something. Has this... Uh... Come on, water. What's going on here? We have two days. Let's go. Water, evaporate. Go, go, go. <laughs> it's not working. We have too much water. Oh, no. Game, come on. You're supposed to challenge us. Where is it? Where is the challenge? Help. All right, let's pause this one right for right now. <laughs> Jeez. Um, all right, so I also want to get maybe another water pump here. Uh, where? Is that it? Yeah, deep water pump, right. Okay, get one here and then add our path and add another maple tree. Do I need... Yes, I need all those roads. Game, you're supposed to be more difficult. I think we've built too well. This is our problem. I know there are people that are like, uh, you just wait, KOS. You just wait. And you'll see how difficult the game can be. I'm going to go ahead and release some of this water and I want to delete this. Let me delete these buildings quickly uh, so that we just get kind of the maximum benefit we can. Uh, yes. And what we're going to do... Oh, it deleted that. Yeah, okay. It's, it's fine. It's not a problem. We have plenty of water to last us. All right, and dams on top. Okay, that will work just fine. And there we go. So we did see some... We're seeing some drying. Okay, but it's okay. We're not we're not dying. It's it's just a little bit of slight. Oh, this is inconvenient for the forester though. Darn it! It's not fair. No help. Unfair. All right, still nobody here. I'm kind of surprised about that, but I think maybe we just take somebody off of inventing. So let's pause one of those. Maybe two. Okay, that's one unemployed. Are they working here yet? Hello. Hi, Zelmea. How you doing? Let me go ahead and unpause this again. All right, good, good. And I think that might be where we are finishing succeeding here. Let me, one thing I do wanna do is remove this area that's not planted. And the reason for that is because we wanna know the limits of this forester. So can they reach up here? They cannot, so let's clear this as well. Okay, and that's what we've got. So it enables us to have room for decorations or other things that we might want to put in there. Anyway, I think we have made huge, huge progress on this dam. It's kind of crazy cool. I'm really excited for it. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.